here in this PowerPoint, you can see I've got a lot of keywords with a lot of animations. I also make games for my ESL teaching in China. Okay, the point of this video is to show you how to make these things effectively and how to make them very fast. I'll also reference to this video a lot uh, from other videos because what I'm going to show you here is key to everything that you do in PowerPoint. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Okay, uh, I want to add a blank slide over here. And let's say I want to add a shape. I have to go to the insert bar, I have to go to shapes, and I can select the shape and place it there. What I'm trying to show you is I can literally just click one button, get the shape, and have it there. If you do a lot of these things over and over, you need to have a quick button where you can add text, you can type your, uh, this is cool, and so on and so on. So I'll be referencing to this video a lot, showing you how to make these games and how to get these things done quickly. So uh, also, you, as you can see, taking the animation pane away, then going back to my slide, if I wanted to add an animation, I can literally just click here and add the animation that I want to. Let's get into how to customize the quick access toolbar to make you more effective in PowerPoint. If you start out, your quick access toolbar will look something like this. You have an auto save button from Microsoft itself, a save button, undo button, redo button, a start presentation from the beginning, and then a drop down button, which says customize the quick access toolbar. That's exactly what you're looking for. And after clicking on that, you can come down to more commands. That will bring up this video and you will see that you have two windows, a windows over here with what is available and a window to the right that shows everything that you have in your quick access toolbar at the moment. In the middle, there's an add button, which means if I want to add hyperlink, I can click on add. And if I want to remove it, I can click on hyper add hyperlink and I can click on remove and that will remove it from the or from the quick access toolbar. So now you can start thinking about what you want to have in your quick access toolbar. I like having the animation pane, so I'll click on that and then I will add that. I also like to add the animation styles uh, that will add animations as you go. And then as we go on, let's see if I can find shapes and alignment. Okay, I also like having the word art uh, let me add that and let me see what else do we have here oh shapes is over here <laughs> i can add shapes yeah sorry this takes a bit of a story but as i said you only do this once now as i said earlier i also like to have my alignment buttons so as you can see, we can't find the alignment buttons here. Let me just go through quickly again. And that's actually a good thing because now I can show you where the alignment, how to find something if it's not on the popular command. So coming up here, you, you change this to all of the commands. But now this will literally change this list to include every command. So you can make this quick access pane quite wild. You can add a lot of things. So let's look for the alignment. Uh, okay, so add, as you can see, there's everything. Add assistant, add a bookmark. I don't use those things a lot. Uh, you can literally, what I would say is you, you're gonna do this over a time. Uh, okay, so here we go, align objects. You can add all of the align objects, but I mainly use align object center and align objects left. Those buttons I use quite a lot. So now let me just see what else. Okay, there are quite a lot of things. So you will get a feel to what what kind of things you use a lot. For me, I use these buttons a lot and this helps me for making anything that I need. So I'll be happy at this point with my uh, quick access toolbar. So if you're done, you just say, okay. And you will see if you go up to the top here, your quick access toolbar is changed. So, as I said in the beginning, that's how you do it. This makes a lot of things much easier. So, as I say, let's say you want to align this one to the left. Let's say I want to get this, uh, the script in the middle of this text. I just hold down control, select both of them, and I can select center, and I can make it in the bottom. Oh, something else that I want to do. I want to get vertical. This is a horizontal center. I also want to add 
the vertical center. So I'll go there, more commands. Uh, I'll make sure that this was, will go to all commands and because I want to add the vertical center. So let's say align objects. This is the one, align objects middle. It's this one that I'm looking for. Yes, uh, that's the other button that I use quite a lot. The reason for that is you can just click on that. So that's quite cool. So as I showed you, let me just show you this again. Um, let's say I've got this and I want to put the text in the middle of this square. I would select this square first, hold down control, select the text and then press so the center and center and there you've got the two objects in the center of each other. If you want this to be in the center of the screen, uh, you can just put that, select one by one, go center, center and select the text, go center and center and there you have it in the middle of the screen. If I wanted to add another circle here, let me say I want to add just a circle, I can just put it there. Luckily the shape full is close and there you have it. So that's how you customize the quick access toolbar to make a lot of things a lot faster. As you can see you can add animations, you can add anything here, fly in, I want to add it to that one and I, let's say I want to add an animation to this. Uh, I want to add like a, a wipe, not a wipe, uh, what do they call it? Yes, a wipe. Uh, there we go, this is cool. So, and I want to, then everything is right there. Let's start that after previous. As you can see, there we go, and this is cool. So, this is how you customize your quick access toolbar. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe below, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next lesson.